Hi, this is Rob. I'm going to show you how you can use user parameters in a sketch of a kind of shelving unit and um, basically make it parametric so you can have a customizable number of shelves. Not that that in it of itself is so useful, but it's kind of a simple example of how you might use um, user parameters and uh, have, have a model that adjusts according to um, change in parameters. So uh, here are my two sides. I'm looking at this from the front. So these are the two sides of the shelf and I have some user parameters already. One is the height, that's the height of the whole thing and I've uh, created that dimension just by typing in height and thickness is the thickness of the wood. Uh, quantity is the number of shelves I want to have. So uh, the way I would probably start is um, you know, I, I could uh, make two different kinds of shelves here. One is where that number five actually includes the top and the bottom. So what I'm trying to do is create a rabbit or a dado in uh, several places on each side so that the shelves just slide right in. And um, maybe I'm going to do that on the top and the bottom too. So actually one of those shelves is the top and it's kind of inset in there and then the uh, bottom does the same thing. So that's actually really easy to do. I'll show that as the first example, and then I'll show another one where um, it's the, the math is a little bit more complicated, but it's not a big deal. So uh, I'm in the sketch already, and I'm just going to create a rectangle uh, to be that bottom part, the, the floor of my shelf. And again, I'm just trying to do this really simply, so it's just assuming that bottom shelf sits right on the floor. So uh, I'm also going to dimension it so that it's the thickness of my wood, which is 0.75 right now. And uh, what I can do is now just replicate this given my uh, quantity or QTY um, user parameter. So I'm going to uh, select each of these. Actually, I can do this afterward. I'll just do uh, rectangular pattern. And when it's asking me for objects, I can just click these. This way it's a little easier because you don't have to hold down shift to do it. Uh, grab that curve and grab this curve. And that's it. So now the extent is uh, basically the range that I want to um, have these shelves cover. Um, that's one way to do it. The other way to do it is using spacing. In this case, extent will be easier. So how many shelves should there be? Well, it's just my variable, dty. And then what's the distance? If I just put in a 12 here, you can see that's the distance. Um, but what I'd really like is to base it on the height. So if I put height here, that's almost it. Except that this, first, this top one goes right off the edge. So it should just be height minus the thickness of my wood. So now there it is. It lands properly. I can hit OK, stop sketch and just uh, press pull one of these sides and you'll see that it works. There they are. So you can see on the bottom there's a rabbit there and then there are these dados and um, the tops and bottoms would slide in. But I said that I wanted five shelves and this is actually three shelves. Um, that's not a problem. I can just change, um, change that number to a bigger number. Uh, I guess to show you that, maybe I'll just make a change here. So let's say I put seven in here. So now I have five shelves and then and a top and a bottom. Um, but maybe I have other plans for the top and bottom. I don't want them to just be rabbits like this. So I'm just going to uh, undo back to where I was and even get rid of this rectangle. And what I'll do instead is I'll leave the bottom alone and I'll just make a rectangle uh, at the right height for the first rectangle. So let's try making that rectangle. And I will make the dimension uh, thickness of my wood. And so now I need the height to be correct. And I think what I want to do probably, in, and you know, in the end, the math is totally up to you, like how you want it to look. But I think I'm going to base it off of the center of this um, board that goes across. So I'll make a, a line that goes across the center, and then I'll click on it and hit X to turn it into a uh, construction line. I've been using the keyboard shortcuts, so um, I think uh, maybe, sorry, some of, some things have just been appearing, like dimension, I just hit D, and uh, to make something a construction line, I just hit X. So uh, I have my first shelf, it's of course not at the right height, so I'm going to use dimension and say the distance from the middle of that shelf to the bottom of this whole thing should be uh, height divided by uh, quantity. 
And um, I think, you know, I've kind of played around with this a bit, and, and I can tell you that uh, what we're really interested in is, um, well, let's, let's just say we want it to be height divided by a quantity plus one. And uh, you'll see that the, the math just works out. So let's go to, uh, again, a rectangular pattern. We want these four. Actually, I'll include the, um, the center line there. Grab the side here and the other side here. And uh, again, the quantity should be 2ty. And the distance should be uh, height. So let's, let's see as we type, we can see what's happening. So obviously too high. Height uh, minus one of these uh, spaces because we've already kind of we're starting higher, we're starting one space higher. So uh, basically, what is one space? Well, I just said it's uh, height divided by quantity plus one. So uh, height divided by quantity. The parentheses here are kind of important. So it's almost it. I mean, this landed in the right spot, but, uh, and of course it's a little bit off, but the bigger concern is that it actually went all the way to the top. So that's, if this is uh, one space, I just said that this is actually uh, the formula for one gap here, then I actually want two of those. So I can multiply that to two. It looks closer. Um, and, you know, like I said, I think um, it depends on how you want these spaced out. The thickness of the wood will matter, and that may come into account here in the uh, actual formula. It may just be that we have to, after all of this, um, subtract the thickness of the wood. Um, let's see how that works. So I've kind of just made this formula as I went, but it's the total height divided by two of these gaps one for the bottom, one for the top. So I'm really making a rectangular pattern from here to here. Uh, and then I'm also subtracting the thickness of the wood. I think it actually should be half the thickness of the wood. It looked like that first time it was actually only half the thickness up there. So I'm just gonna add this and hit okay. Let's see where we are. Uh, it did it and it has five um, shelves. If I change the number, you'll see them adjust, but. I'm kind of interested to know if uh, if they're evenly spaced. So let's just use the measure tool. From here to here is 5.156 inches. Uh, obviously from, well, let's check, from, from the bottom of this shelf to the bottom of this whole thing. Mm, let's reset that. Bottom of this shelf to the bottom of this whole thing is 5.625. Sorry, I already forgot the first one. <laughs> 5.165. So, 156. So, um, I think, you know, the, it's hard to tell because I don't have a... Um, so, if I was going to attach a bottom onto this whole thing and a top on top of this whole thing, then the spacing would have to vary a little bit. So, my formula can get tweaked. Right now, I think there's a little more space in the top and bottom shelves, but it's very easy to adjust based on that um, formula. So, if I didn't get the formula quite right, all I have to do is look for the little icon right here for the uh, rectangular pattern and I can double click on it and I have everything back up. So um, that's about it just to show that it uh, actually adjusts. We can change that number again. So if you wanted eight shelves, it will cram them all in there. And again, we'd have to uh, decide, ooh, interesting. It doesn't look quite right. Um, Oh, I see. So it's, it's actually somehow I made that dimension from there to there. It should have been from there to the bottom of this whole thing. So I'm not sure how that happened. I'll just delete this and uh, add that dimension again. What I really want is the distance from the bottom of that shelf to the bottom of here. And that should be height divided by quantity plus one. So we're looking a lot closer now. Again, same same issue though. It depends on how you actually wanted to build the rest out, whether a little more space here is what you want or if you really want them all evenly spaced, which is probably the case. So all of it will depend on uh, maybe whether you base it on the uh, center of the shelf or not, or if you have to add 
to that formula in the rectangular uh, pattern. Maybe you just have to add or subtract some of the thickness of the wood. Um, it's basically just messing around at that point. I could give you, uh, I guess I, I probably should have given you a complete example and just said, hey, I want a top on here. Let's make them all equal. But at, hopefully at least this gets you started. And um, of course you can see uh, that the real beauty of this is that if you um, if you were to select these two profiles and extrude them, uh, let's say a more reasonable number of 16 inches, um, the nice thing is that if you were to go back and edit the sketch, uh, oh, actually, sorry, you don't need to do that. So here we are, without going back into the sketch, we can just edit this number and see it change in front of us. So there we are. And that's it. That helps.